CU Boulder students are taking one giant leap for the future of moon exploration. Tonight, Denver 7's Ryan Fish shows us how their NASA-funded research project is making out-of-this-world discoveries. In a building underneath the stands at Folsom Field, you turn this guy on. these CU Boulder students are focused on touchdowns on the moon. You're using an Xbox controller? Yeah. <laughs> Xavier O'Keefe is part of a team behind an experiment funded by NASA using this robot. Uh, they'd pick it up. Fittingly named Armstrong. There's a mission called the Far Side Mission. Um, which it aims to put 100,000 antennas on the far side of the moon to create a giant radio telescope. So the idea here was that the antennas sometimes would get misaligned on the moon in this uh, future mission and that rovers would be the best way to correct that. The experiment involved some operators only moving around this real life robot. I put this guy on. But others first got some practice in this virtual reality replica of the experiment room, which the team created. The study found that practice made operators faster with an 85% drop in irreparable mistakes. So we saw that they were a lot less stressed out when they were completing the physical task after training with the virtual one um, and also that they felt less pressure. Um, they just felt generally more comfortable. Training in VR also avoids prematurely putting robots on the moon's treacherous terrain. It could be a solution for future moon missions. So you can deploy robots into places that are, are hazardous for, for humans. So every minute that an astronaut is on the surface of the moon costs money and resources. And so the more that you can do with, with robots uh, uh, in between those, those human missions, the more effective the overall program can be. NASA plans to ramp up its moon missions in the coming years. It's already been partnering with private companies and universities like CU. NASA is trying to build up the infrastructure and the knowledge to be able to have a long-term presence on the moon with astronauts. So how do you build a moon base that would be sustainable for years or decades into the future? As for the present, shooting for the moon, well, we're building a simulation for a moon robot right now, is happening in our own backyard. In Boulder, Ryan Fish, Denver 7. So Ryan is Denver 7 space and technology reporter. And if you have a story idea in that zone, scan the QR code, share it with him, or you can send him an email at ryan.fish at denver7.com.